Good evening, everybody. Our opening pitch is the Babe Ruth World Series. It's Sarasota and Waterford. First inning, Sarasota's Gabe Copeland says, double your pleasure and double your fun. His two-bagger made it one to nothing. Later on, a fielder's choice by Luke Holman put his team up by the score of two to nothing. It was all fun in the sun for the Florida Nine. Sarasota wins it five to three. Staying on the diamond in a tumble, it's the guys from West Fargo against Spokane. It was all Spokane early on. Andrew Heesh gets the RBI. The guys from the West Coast led it 5-1. to one. However, the seventh inning stretch worked for West Fargo. Lance Oster gets a two-run home run to make it 6-5. to five. But wait, there's more. Alex Erlob launches one to left. It's a three-run blast. West Fargo wins it 9-5. to five. The Cardinals outscored the Astros 8-5. to five. The Redbirds' Matt Holliday will have surgery on his fractured right thumb tomorrow. There's a hitchhiker's chance that he could play by the end of the year. Kansas City and Danny Duffy remain red hot. The Royals beat the Tigers 6-1. Duffy threw a three-hitter to improve to 10-1. and one. The Knox County softball team will be one of the best in the area, however, an injury or two could derail the Eagles. With only 10 players, I have a lot of versatility with the 10 that I have, so this year will be interesting. The Kirksville softball team starts its season Saturday at the Smith Cotton Tournament. While the results will not define who this team is, it will determine who the starters will be. I think the lineup is just going to evolve throughout the year to see who's producing, and we want to get, be able to give those girls opportunities to show up. We've done a few scrimmages, and I think we're all ready to like get into real game situations and again like the speed of the game. For decades, Knox County and Schuyler County have met on the football field as members of the Tri Rivers Conference. Both have moved to the Lewis and Clark. They will meet each other in the first game of the year. It's a familiar opponent, but it is an opponent that has the same idea of football that, that we do. They like to run the ball, and once, once the running game's going, they'll play action over the top and uh, get some other, other uh, positions involved. And we're, we're very similar to that. Now, how we try to accomplish it, it's a little bit different. We're more of a speed type of team that goes side to side. They're more set up uh, up the middle. Ten miles up the road, Scotland County will also enter enemy territory as they will take on perennial power Marceline. And Marshall Lynch, great team, year in, year out, uh, state semifinalists last year. Um, and so starting off with them is a great measuring stick for our kids to figure, know where we're at and what we need to do in conference. Tumble will not start its season for another week. That will give the Bulldogs more time to see who will win the job at quarterback. Jarrett, and we've got another uh, junior quarterback this year, uh, Addison Corm, who played uh, primarily sophomore football last year. Uh, you know, those two guys have really been doing a lot of battling this summer, and, you know, I, don't, I really don't know who we'd go with if we had a game tomorrow. The Chiefs' Jamal Charles has returned to practice. His teammates will be in L.A. Saturday to face the Rams, and the Titans have traded former Missouri standout Doriel Green Beckham to the Eagles. The Kirksville golf team is young. They only have one senior and three juniors. The good news is... No matter what your score is in August, nobody will remember if you go low in October. Just being relaxed in those situations, it's going to be tough to start the season and you just learn from it and you want to definitely peak at the right time, um, which we did last year with several golfers that qualified in postseason play. Teresa's up next with final weather. Stay with us. 